Hey everyone in the Tech Republic verse, this is Jack Wallen and I'm here to help you get things done. Today, I'm going to walk you through the complicated process of installing the Open EMR Medical Practice Solution. The first thing to do is install the necessary dependencies. To do that, log into your Ubuntu server and issue the following command. sudo apt-get install mysql-server php php-xml php-mb string php-mysql apache2 wget y After the dependencies are installed, you need to configure the MySQL database server. Do this with the command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. You'll be asked to set up the validate password plugin, set an admin password, remove anonymous user, disallow root login remotely, remove test database and access to it, and reload privilege tables. When asked, answer Y for all of the questions. Next, we need to create a database. Log into the MySQL prompt with the command sudo mysql u root p. Enter the password you created for the MySQL admin user. At the MySQL prompt, create the database with the command create database open emr semicolon. Next, create a user and give the user permission to use the new database with the command create user single quote open emr user single quote at single quote localhost single quote identified by single quote password single quote semicolon where password is a strong unique password next grant the user permission to access the new database with the command grant all privileges on open emr dot star to single quote open emr user single quote at single quote localhost single quote semicolon Finalize this with the commands flush privileges semicolon exit. It is also necessary to configure PHP properly for OpenEMR. To do this, issue the command sudo nano slash etsy slash php slash 7.2 slash apache2 slash php.ini. In that file, you'll want these PHP options to reflect the following. Short open tag equals off. Max execution time equals 60. Max input time equals negative 1. Max input vars equals 3000. Memory limit equals 512 megabytes. Display errors equals off. Log errors equals on. Post max size equals 30 megabytes. File uploads equals on. Upload max file size equals 30 megabytes. Error reporting equals E underscore all and tilde e underscore notice and tilde e underscore strict. mysqli.allow local in file equals on. Once you've taken care of that, save and close the file. Next, we need to download and unpack the necessary file for OpenEMR. To do this, issue the command wget https colon slash slash downloads.sourceforge.net slash project slash openemr slash openemr percent 20 current slash 5.0.2.1 slash openemr dash 5.0.2.tar.gz. When the file download completes, unpack it with the command tar xvzf openemr star dot tar dot gz. You should now have a new directory named openemr dash 5.0.2. The next step is to relocate and rename the openemr-5.0.2 directory and give it the necessary permissions. First, rename the directory with the command mv openemr-5.0.2 openemr. Now you can move the directory with the command sudo mv openemr slash var slash www slash html. With the directory in place, give it the proper ownership with the command sudo chown dash capital R www dash data colon www dash data slash var slash www slash html slash open emr. There's also one particular file that requires a specific permission. Take care of this step with the command sudo chmod 666 slash var slash www slash html slash open emr slash sites slash default slash sqlconf.php. We've taken care of the preflight steps. 
Now it's time to install OpenEMR. Open a web browser and point it to http colon slash slash server IP open EMR, where server IP is the IP address of the Ubuntu server. You should be greeted by the first screen of the installation. Click Next to continue. In the resulting window, make sure to check I have already created the database and then click Next. In the resulting window, fill out the necessary information as shown in the article below. Once you've filled out that information, click Create DB and User. In the next window, click Proceed to Step 4. In the next two windows, click Proceed. The next window will display the contents you need to copy and paste in the Apache configuration file for OpenEMR. Open that file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash apache2 slash sites-available slash openemr.conf. You then need to enable the site with the command sudo a2 n site openemr. Finally, reload the Apache config files with the command sudo system control reload apache2. Once you've taken care of that, click proceed to select a theme. In the resulting window, either keep the current theme or click show more themes. Once you've selected a theme, click proceed to final step and you'll find all the information you need to log into your new OpenEMR instance. <laughs> If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.